Howdy folks, this is Lanzo90 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. Alright, how long will it take us to get here? You know what? I don't think we're willing to do that in four days. Well, it's four days to get there, and then it's going to be even longer to get back, right? So what I'm thinking is, why don't we just drop straight down? I believe that's what we want to do. Wherever we land, we land. Uh, time to parry apps three days. I think I reversed my orbit, basically. That's okay. All right. So quick as we can go, unless I do like a suicide burn. I did just save the game not too long ago, so we should be fine. Again, it's mostly just like our life support systems that I'm concerned about. Like, look how long this takes. <laughs> it takes quite a long time to get in here. You he probably would have been fine, but he... It don't matter none. Eventually here we're going to be in low orbit though, and we'll have some more science to grab. I don't know if I got her out and grabbed some of the other science, though. Let's keep going. We're not close enough yet. That much is for sure. Going to be not landing on an ice plane, but that is okay by me. Our first lander landed on an ice plane. Anyway, explored everywhere, but... And, okay, this is probably space near Minmus. Do. Oh, I'm dumb. Wait, no, I'm not dumb because uh, Jebediah was here. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Jebediah already got the crew reports and stuff. A lot of gravity data. Well, I probably should have put the thermometer and stuff on this. I think I assumed that I had cleared every biome on the... Or did I put them somewhere else? I can't remember. Gravity span. Oh, we're still in space high above Minmus, huh? I guess I did not get her out of here after all. Grab that data. It's okay. Let's go get it now. Or you know what? We probably do have it. Now I think about it. We probably do have it. It's just because... That module doesn't know what we have, right? Well, it could be a different biome. Because it's specific. Biome doesn't say it is. Slopes. Actually, we have not been to the slopes at all. All right, then we can go grab this. Oops, I got the spacecraft spinning now. You got the whole spacecraft spinning. Okay. I may have goofed by not putting more science parts on this thing. I just assumed that we had most of it. Don't break the solar panels, please. All right, here we go. Might as well get on target here. Get that retrograde thing pointing straight down and get surface level readings because we are are landing on a slope. I know I said that we need the data from the slopes, however, landing on a slope is unpleasant.
Slow down a bit. I have mixed feelings about landing on the slope because I want to do it for the science, but I also kind of don't want to do it, right? Because <laughs> uh, not a gentle landing to be for to be certain, or not an easy landing at least. As always, the best way to land is a suicide burn, just burning at the last second. However, accomplishing such a thing is quite dangerous. grasp it. Probably do have enough fuel to hop around too. I don't see why we wouldn't hop around as long as I can do it safely. Getting the occasional graphics there, but... Oh god, why is it like this? I was like, why are we moving sideways so much? I'm like, oh god. Why did that not change? Stupid game. It's supposed to do that automatically, man. I was like, why is the surface going so horizontally under us? I don't know. Men must rotated that quickly. I thought that was just Gilly that did that. There you go. We ended up with a, a makeshift... Uh, Suicide burn. Wonk. Spidoof. There we go. We have, we've done it. No milestones, huh? It's somewhat odd there's no milestone for that. That's okay. Extend the ladders. Get me the EVA report. Crew report. Minmus Lowlands. You record the crew's assessment of the situation. Okay. You've got all sorts of stuff. Okay, that wasn't what I tried to do. I accidentally pressed the shift key. Oof. Stabilize, please. No oh, target in range. So I guess you've got a... That's probably for rovers then, right? Because you probably either got to get next to a terrain scatter or next to a resource. So that was a waste to bring. Can do mystery goo. You observe the goo. This is lowlands. Like hydrogen data... Well, detectable hydrogen is discovered in neutron scans of Minmus. Keep data. Gravity scan. Scan picks up subtle changes in the field caused by the orbit of the moon. The data will provide valuable insight into the local planetary system. Observe materials bay. Material samples were processed. 
While the material samples were processed, you began to your thoughts on how Minimus looks like meant to serve. You've discovered that you are now hungry. How about the core drill? Atmospheric planets. Wamp, wamp. Now he's McData. Sounds of shifting and, and vibration are detected under the surface. It's possible that the interior is not completely frozen. Very interesting. Uh, actually, evidenced by these flat plains of Minmus, because science would tell you that flat, fresh terrain like this, or flat terrain like that, is probably newer terrain. Which means there's some sort of activity going on. All right. We're going to have to take all this data and put it back in. All right. Okay. Can't get over that hump, huh? It's very low gravity here, so we're kind of fine to just drift down and just press shift on our spacesuit to skirt. She might actually go through a lot of EVA repellent here. All right. That's one small step for a Kerbal. One giant leap for Kerbal kind. Surface sample from Minmus's lowlands. Surface seems to consist of tiny crystal-like grains. Very pretty, but probably not edible. Yep, but we're always good. Always concerned about that, EVA report. Feel a bit like a superhero when you jump in the low gravity. Plant a flag. In my slow lens landing. Valentina. I don't know how I named that other flag that we put on like the moon for the first time. All right, great job, Valentina. However, we do need you to get onto the science section here and pull the science out. This thing can collect two. Take data. Fortunate that that won't work. Let's see the dime. Dynamic albedo of blah blah blahs did not work. Take the gravioli. Take the materials bay. Believe that's everything. Wonder if we could take her. Like, what if we. We made our way to the Multum One and like took its science parts off so I could reuse them. I don't think that would work. <laughs> I don't think that would work, but I actually don't know. All right, Valentina, let's see how many missions we can get done here. Let's jump. Wish we could see the biomes, but I'm like, surely. Surely this is a highland, right? We could try to hop into that little creator over there, too. jump like so don't have infinite fuel so this stage goes out we'll probably want to switch even though this one says it has tons of delta v i don't always trust that okay 
just want to be sure there is a crew report there. Yeah. Gotta be real careful here. Too much time acceleration could, could really hurt. See, this might be slopes. Okay, I can't find out from that though. Didn't quite point me pro grade, please. Actually, retrograde's good. Uh oh. Might as well see if this is a slope now, I guess. <laughs> we can do a little bit of a quicker, quicker hop to the, to the lake. This wasn't my intent, but, uh, we weren't like far enough over the lake to land on it directly. Uh, fix our orientation here. So slightly more high risk maneuvers. Now this is being done with a Kerbal in it rather than a a pod or a probe, as it were. So I shouldn't get too cocky about doing these things. But it would be nice to get like a metric F ton of science because she has the she has the Ways and Means Committee to get a met metric F ton of science from this place. Firmly grasp it. Ooh. Much steeper inclination. In fact, I have concerns about taking her out of her pod here because. Releasing SAS may cause issues here. Okay, that definitely causes issues. I can give her time. Might not be able to get her in and out though. We might have to just take, take what we've got, try to land on the edge so I can maybe walk her up here. Yeah, this is not great. Ah, <laughs> oh, frick, this is still a little one, it's okay. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and fly over there. All right, this will probably be where we want to be. Go ahead and give me that dank physics acceleration. Now, I think all of its flat planes are considered like the same thing. All of its lakes. I don't think each lake is its own thing, kind of like the... Calderas on the Munar. Still like barely on the edge of this thing, but it should be good enough. I think there's actually some terrain scatters out here, which I wouldn't normally think it would have. Okay, 
carefully. Slow down to 10. Ignore the graphical glitches. <laughs> and hopefully, Kerbal Space Program 2 just looks better by default. <laughs> I would assume it would. It'd be nice not to have to install as much stuff that causes all sorts of weird glitches to happen to the game. Bonk. All right, this one. There we go. Minmus's flats. Keep the experiment. EVA. EVA report. I feel like a superhero once again. Okay. Don't don't explode spontaneously. Kerbals do be doing that sometime. They do be exploding. Oh, you know what? We didn't run the experiments. Eh. This will take her down and then don't make the spacecraft jump up by bumping into it though. All right. You only get one flag, Valentina. Sorry to say, but I just don't want to clutter my map with flags. Uh, let's not remove helmet. That seems like a bad idea. Let's take a surface sample though. Sneak a taste of the surface sample. Nope, it's definitely not made of delicious dessert products. Oof. You hate to hear it. Okay. And... Oop. Let's run our experiments. There, the mystery goo. You observe the mystery go. Observe materials may. All material samples were processed. You begin to turn your thoughts to how much minimus looks like meant dessert. Yep. You know all about that sort of stuff. A lot of gravity data. Gravity stands pick up several changes in the field caused by the moon. Seen that before. I should have grabbed like the community tech tree, I think. Adds more options to those dialogues. Sound of shifting and vibration are detected on the surface. It's possible that the interior is not completely frozen. Okay. Let go. Ooh, not what I want. Not what I want. Yeah. SAS wasn't on. Whoa. She got launched into space, man. Not to go through all my Ooh. grab, please. There you go. Try not to go through all my RCS. All right. Uh, take data. Take data. Take data. Unfortunately, she cannot restore it. Might have been a case where we might have wanted to take a scientist with us here because. Honestly, we could have got some more juice out of it, but we would have needed a bigger rocket, probably. We might not have been able to do more hops. It's a little bit worried about no, no momentum there for a moment. Also, we need to EVA, take data, store data. Okay. Where the heck would a highland be? <laughs> that was somehow lowlands. Let's try to get up here and then that will be my last hop, I think. At like a 45 degree angle. bit more 90 degree here. 
uh, overshoot a little bit because I keep messing that up. Physics time accelerate. Yeah, this will definitely be our last hop based on our Delta V, but that is fine. Hopefully it just gives us what we're looking for. Don't care if it's highlands or midlands or slopes. It just has to be not lowlands, not flats. All right, let's unphysics time warp and start regular time warp. We are all out of time here, but I am going to get to this last zone before we call it because... Okay, that's a little scary. Yeah, let's just knock this out just so that the next episode is all return journey. All right, what's the crew report say? Dang. Gotta find a tool. Which one was it? The gravioli? Was it? Okay, we are over the midlands now. Should probably keep that, by the way. And skirt. Probably not going to be a 100% playthrough where I get like all the data from every biome ever. We're just going to visit most of the places, get enough science to advance, all that good stuff. Okay, we'll be a little bit careful with our fuel because we don't want to have to switch stages in the middle of landing because it wouldn't go very well. So we are going to want to try to suicide burn here a little bit. We're not going apocalyptically fast. Well, it will be if we crash at the speed, but I have, I have time to react here, you know? Are we in orbit mode? You son of a bitch. Why would you change? <laughs> Why would you change automatically sometimes, but not all the time? You son of a bitch. Frick you. <laughs> Why would it do that? It's so annoying, man. So very close on our meters per second here, on our Delta V. There you go. Forgot that we actually needed to plant a flag. That's the whole reason we came here, really. Okay. Crew aboard. You know what? That one ding. Well, we have very, very little experiments to run here. Long seismic data. We've already seen that. Because these are done. Yeah, I go out and get that. Take that. Take this. I don't know why they choose to roll over backwards when they, they land. There you go. There you go, Valentina. 
the Midlands. Let's get your EVA report. Data to surface sample. Keep it. We. <laughs> I wonder how far, you, how far you can jump on Gilly if you can jump this high on uh, Minmus, you know? All right, now we got to run this again. Or which one? It wasn't the size, Mama. It should be the Gravioli. Okay. There you go. Grab this real quick. Skirt. All right. That's all in this route. Get back in the pod, and then that will be the end of the episode. Hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you did, remember hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, hope you have a good day.